Well, how do their charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and the new No Man's Sky update is out. And here are the patch notes that we have so far. So there's nothing over on the No Man's Sky website as yet. No Man's Sky Adrift. No Man's Sky Adrift redefines what it means to survive among the stars, plunging you into an empty universe devoid of familiar life and comforts. Interesting! Journey alongside the whole community as you complete the Adrift expedition and earn an array of exclusive rewards. Venture across an abandoned universe and learn a whole new way to survive. I'm wondering whether this might be Galaxy 256. You know, I've been banging on about them putting in the void and the realm of glass. Is it a whole abandoned universe that we might be getting? Interesting. Claim the Iron Vulture, a unique hauler class starship. Pretty nice. Recruit the ship of the damned, an exclusive cursed frigate for your fleet. Sounds awesome. Adopt the Gnawing Scutter, a bold new companion. Lovely. These rewards and more besides await those that dare step alone into the black void of space. Again, they've mentioned the void of space. Have they implemented the void? Have they ring fenced Galaxy 256 or 255, however you count it, as the realm of glass or the void? Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to jump into game and we're going to have a look see at the expedition rewards at the Quicksilver Merchant. I'll see you there. OK, well, here we are. Let's go and have a look at what they've got then. Inside of the Expedition Rewards, we've got a new title called The Drifter. Yeah, this is a bit sort of like, um, what is it? Yeah, it's like a racing thing, isn't it? Drifting? Yeah, anyway, we've got that. We've got a drift decal as well. Lovely. And a drift banner. Heck yeah. And we've got the Iron Vulture. Oh, this is that hauler. Oh, I do like the look of that. I really like that. That's quite cool. As far as haulers go, I just got guns on the front. It looks like a war machine, doesn't it? I like that. Iron panels, starship customization. Lovely. An exclusive starship customization option, creating a unique, well worn appearance of your ship. Acquire starship components by breaking down existing ships. So, this, yeah, lovely. I like that. We've got new customizable bits. I was hoping that ship customization wasn't just going to be a shoehorn in and we'd get items to imp improve the appearance. Ship of the Damned. Cursed frigate for your fleet. Okay. Eh, I don't know whether I like it. Uh, uh, mm. Anyway, a pooling egg. We're getting this little scuttery dude. He's quite cute, isn't he? We're going to get him as a pet. Lovely. Stealth paint. Ah, fi uh, fighter and hauler class, ship design for outfitting. Lovely. Like it. Ruined starship decoration. Ah, oh, wicked. So you can put that around your base. That'd be quite cool to make like a shipyard, wouldn't it? Full of old ships. Hold on. That's not the only one. We get a couple. Oh, there's a barrel nose. Awesome. Oh, what's that? That looks more like a hauler or something there, doesn't it? Pretty lovely. And a tail end of like a hauler as well. Wicked. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if we're going to be seeing this sort of stuff on planet services during the expedition. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Isolation poster. It's got some text on there for somebody that's awesome at converting text to decipher. Alone in the dark poster. Very cool. And a meditation poster. That'll make a nice t-shirt. I guess it would. And that's all the items for the Expedizione. Now we haven't got patch notes as yet. I'm just going to check a few things. So this is a new console. Let's see if there's anything new in there. Let's see if it mentions a new expedition note. It just says expedition 12 is complete. A new journey will begin soon. Nothing new there. Okay, well let's use the teleporter over here and let's go and see if our little echoes, the man spider, is starting to say anything new, shall we? Zoom! Let's go up here. Let's talk to a good old man spider. See what he's got to say. Hello there, man spider. Nope. Uh, nothing new. Okie dokie. Nothing new there. What I'm thinking is I've got a base in Galaxy 256. I might just jump there and see if anything weird's happening there. Then I might try an abandoned station and see if anything weird is happening at abandoned stations, people. So Galaxy 256 is also known as Oodalatai. There it is right there. So here we go. I'm going to hit up my base over there and see if anything's changed. Let's have a look-see. 
Right, well, I've arrived located at my base. My base is still very much still a thing. It hasn't been vanished located or anything like that. Okay, the planet looks pretty much as it did before. Right, anyway, let's take to the skies and let's just jump to another area of space inside of 256 and see if anything weird happens. I don't think it will, but, you know. You know what I could do? Is I could try looking for an abandoned station in this sort of abandoned system. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a look see. I'll see if I can find an abandoned station or a system. Okay, Sean, so here's one. Now, it's got to have the data unavailable in the conflict area. So if you've got a conflict scanner installed, your quid's in. So we're going to jump there and we're going to take a look at this abandoned station, see if the actual message has changed as we fly into it, see if we can note anything that might be different inside a game, even though this does seem to be just an expedition update. Okay, well I've emerged and it looks like we've got a freighter battle on our hands. Okay, well let's just go and help this guy out quickly. Zoomy zoomy around here. Now let's go take out the engines on this thing, shall we? Take that engines. Blowy, use our real weapons, shall we? Wow, Nelly! Oh, something I haven't tried, actually, is to see if the station overrides do something. It says welcome home still. Doesn't look like there's any change inside of here. Oh, there's a couple of ships landed in here. That's a bit weird. Maybe they came from the pirate vessel or something, or from the other freighter that was getting attacked. But I very much doubt anything would have changed inside of here. We can but look, though, can't we? Nah, no, I don't think anything's changed in here. At this card level three. Yeah, I haven't done anything with these rooms either. All right, fine. So there's that. And you know what? I'm just going to jump to one of the uh, space stations that I've been to before. So Euclid Galaxy. We'll just go to there. So I don't think anything's changed inside of Galaxy 256. It doesn't look like it's been ring fenced to me. Right, well, we've arrived, Decated. There's my shifty ship. I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship. And we're going to try a station override. If it doesn't work, I'll do a reload. Because I don't want to sacrifice my station overrides. Because I am hoping they do something wondrous and cool one day. Okay. I have to go up there, do I? Alright, fine. Still learning these new stations, people. Boom. Let's try it. Input station override. Counterfeit detected. Access denied. Glass, 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 glass. That's what it's always said. All right, fine. Well, chums, I've just checked the No Man's Sky website again. There's no new patch notes out as yet, and I can't think of much else to try inside of actual game. But this does look like it is just an expedition update, but it does look like it's going to be an awesome expedition. One that I seriously can't wait to jump in and try, and I would love to get that hauler. And also the customizable bits, and also the base parts. There's a lot inside of this expedition that I'm like, wow, we got some treats. We got some lovely, lovely treats. So there you go, people. Hopefully the next video you see of mine will be the patch notes, and we'll go through them. And yeah, and then after that, probably the expedition. So salute to Mondo. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. We escape just for a day From video games to life loves And talk so bizarre Captain Steve's channel takes us near and far He dives into the depths of the internet's realm Unveiling strange tales that overwhelm Captain Steve Our guide through this digital maze With each new upload Our worries erase We laugh We learn We explore as a team 
in Captain Steve's world, where dreams gleam.